I'm Rachel Thurlow. Picture this, it's finally graduation day. Whether it's this month or after grad school, it, the day will finally come when you're done with school. Now fast forward a little time. What's next? What are you supposed to do? Today, I'm going to talk about how the recession affects recent college graduates. I'll go over why the recession has such an impact on people like you and I. The recession is affecting recent college graduates by making it difficult to obtain jobs, increasing debt, and delaying building future assets. First, let's begin by defining what exactly recession is. I'm sure we've all used the word hundreds of times, but what is it really? According to recession.org, a recession is six or more months of economic decline marked by high unemployment stagnant wages, and a fall in retail sales. According to the National Bureau of Economic Research, this recession that is ultimately affecting all of us began in December 7, 2007, and is the worst ever. Now let's look closely at how this will affect us after graduating. I'll start with high unemployment. We as students may work, but not necessarily in the career we want. Um, we're competing in a market with experienced candidates after we graduate. We're going to think we graduate with our degree and then we're going to get our dream job, but that is not usually the case. Right now in this recession, many people are being laid off in um, the fields that we want. So we are competing with these same people for the same entry level positions. Um, according to an expert in the field, Brian Kim, they, recent college graduates, can't get a job because they have no work experience. And in order to get a job, they need a job to get that work experience. And the cycle viciously continues. We see that unemployment is rising among recent college graduates by looking at the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. College graduates, 20 to 24 years old, has, unemployment has risen 5% and only half of students that graduated between 2006 and 2010 have found full-time jobs. Now that we've looked at how it could affect our job opportunities, let's look at our finances. Because finding a job has become difficult, um, graduates' debt has gone up. According to Chris Isidore of CNN, one-fourth of graduate students are in debt, not only student loans, but in all bills. Expert in finances, Andrew Martin, said that 27 to 37 percent of people with student loans have passed balance dues of 30 or more days. This is a direct result because as we previously learned, it's difficult to find a job, therefore graduates are falling behind on their bills. Another aspect of the recession affecting our debt is that Tuition is increasing, and starting salaries, although are going up slightly, are not at the same rate. The U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis shows that tuitions and fees for four-year schools in every state have gone up last year. Here's an example, just in California, of how tuition has risen. So for people planning on going to grad school, they can plan on spending more money because the bills will go up. Peter Schwarm of the Globe staff says the average student loan debt increases 6% each year while starting salary increases only 2 to 3%. So even though the salaries are increasing, um, they are not, and for those of us who can find jobs, they are not increasing enough that it could securely pay all the bills. So even if we find a job, it could still affect us. Now let's see how all this could play a role in our long-term future plans. Due to increasing debt and the difficulty finding work, you and I could have a difficult time starting our real adult lives. It could take 10 years for graduates to recover from the recession. Um, and because this is the worst recession, it is impossible to tell when exactly we will be back on track. Unlike in the past, graduates are forced into situations they may not want to be in. One of them is housing. Because of all the previous reasons, one third of graduate students have to move back in with their parents. This does not account for the people that choose to. This is for people that have to because they just don't have enough money to live on their own. 
A second is that graduates must take short-term jobs that are not associated with their degree, uh, therefore pushing off main career goals just to make ends meet. Many of us are going to have to not work in fields that we're working so hard to get to now because the jobs just aren't out there for us. And with the career being pushed back, it could ultimately lead to pushing back other life goals such as marriage or children for two reasons. Either some people don't want to start that aspect of their life um, without having their career set, and if you don't have enough money, you may not want to. In conclusion, we see the recession really hits college graduates hard. From unemployment to debt to the future, the recession has devastating effects. Thank you. Just short of six minutes.